Hello again. Leeds United Football Club tonight has a new manager and, as expected, he is the former Sheffield Wednesday boss, Howard Wilkinson. His appointment comes nearly a fortnight after the dismissal of Billy Bremner, the previous manager whose ties with the club stretched back more than 20 years. And it follows an angry demonstration by Leeds fans on Saturday after the club had lost for the fourth successive time. The hot favourite for the manager's job at Leeds had been Howard Wilkinson. So his arrival at Elland Road this morning came as no real surprise. At a news conference, Wilkinson explained why he'd decided to leave Sheffield Wednesday for a five-year contract at Leeds. I felt the time was right for me and Sheffield Wednesday to say a fond farewell to each other. I thought it was right from their point of view because I think that they can go further and better, perhaps with someone else there. And Wilkinson had an initial thought on his future at Leeds. I hope when we're doing well we can afford cups we handles on. <laughs> I'll put it in saucer. <laughs> The club are delighted by his move. I think we like his integrity, we like his professionalism, we like his directness. And I think that overall he's a man that can make a football club into something good. My main job now is to get Leeds United away from the foot of the second division and eventually get them into the first division. A time scale on that? I have no time scale on it because I don't know what the task at hand is, but obviously uh, the supporters will set a time scale on it. Whether it's a reasonable one doesn't matter. Uh, just as when I went to Sheffield Wednesday, they have been in the second division now a long time, too long for them, they feel, and they'll be looking uh, for me uh, to do, uh, you know, work a miracle, and, and the sooner it's worked, the better. Howard Wilkinson arrives at Ellen Road faced with a mammoth task. Leeds, once amongst Europe's elite, now languishing at the foot of the second division. The league and cup triumphs of the Don Revy era locked in the distant past. Seven men have come and gone in Revy's wake, among them some of the game's biggest names. Brian Clough lasted just 44 turbulent days. Jimmy Armfield took the club to the European Cup final, but he went after failing to produce a third league title. The great Jock Steen came next, but he too was soon on his way, this time to take the Scotland job. And Revy old boys Alan Clark, Eddie Gray and finally Billy Bremner all failed to deliver the goods. Wilkinson's first objective is to end Leeds's six-year exile from the first division. But for the Ellen Road faithful, that would be just the first leg of a return to the former glories they believe to be theirs by right. Howard Wilkinson's five years at Hillsborough as replacement for Jack Charlton took Wednesday from the second division to among the elite of the first. But lack of money for players and growing crowd dissatisfaction at the failure to win trophies may have been the vital elements which persuaded him to go to Leeds. His move wasn't a bombshell to Wednesday fans and reactions to his departure were mixed. You should have kept him. He hasn't done bad in six seasons he's been here. But he has been booed by some of the fans, hasn't he? But, but they've always been in top half. Well, personally, I'll be sorry to see him go. Why's that? Well, I think he's done a good job down here. He's not been getting the backing from the board. And uh, I think if he'd been given, given a bit more money to spend, we would have been all right. Personally, myself, I think it's a good idea for him to move on. I think he can, he's done all he could possibly do at Hillsborough. And uh, from well, my point of view, it'll be better for the club altogether, I think. Now, once the feared side of Europe are languishing near the bottom of Division Two. Howard Wilkinson took Sheffield Wednesday out of Division 2 five years ago. Many thought he would be the next manager of England, and in the game he is highly rated. Today the Leeds United board waited for their new man to arrive and start the long process of rebuilding the team. Thank you very much. Thank you. In the news conference, Wilkinson's coffee cup runneth over in anticipation. I arrive with certain thoughts in my head. I hope when we're doing well, we can afford cups we handles on. I'll <laughs> 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 put it in saucer. <laughs> we decided, when regretfully we had to make a change, that we wanted a first division manager with success, with a success record. 
Howard Wilkinson completely meets those parameters. And as far as we're concerned, the situation now is settled and we've got the manager that we want and we're looking forward to great days with him. Excellent news, I think. Um, the key to it uh, is that he's, he's been given a five-year contract, so he's got time to, uh, to do the job properly. And uh, I don't think that Leeds could have picked a more uh, meticulous and hard-working manager. We didn't let him go. He was given the opportunity of speaking to the Leeds United chairman for a number of reasons. One of being, in my book, it's a fair thing to do, not to blight a man's chances of improving himself, but also letting it be seen that Sheffield Wednesday are prepared to be open in every possible way and will retain the services of their manager or employees because they want to stay. Wednesday's openness has let Leeds in, but Wilkinson realises that success must be guaranteed for Leeds over the next 18 months. Bremner came close at the end of the 86-87 season, Leeds failing by a whisker to beat Charlton in the playoffs. But why did Wilkinson want to leave Wednesday? I would have dearly loved uh, Sheffield Wednesday to have gone all the way and me, with me leading them. Uh, it, was only, it was unfortunate that when we finished fifth we didn't get in Europe and when we got to the semi-final we didn't get to the final. It's little things like that that can make all the difference.